Hey there! So you like My Hero Academia? You like crafting? You like this crusty dude? You like jazz? <clears throat> Sorry. Well, today we're gonna be making Tomura Shigaraki's severed hands that he has all over his body and face. Hope this will be helpful for all the cosplayers out there, and if you're not a cosplayer, just like me myself, you can just make it and keep it as a piece of decoration in your room. Let's get into it! So, for the first part you're gonna need PVA glue, a glass of water, a paintbrush, a hairdryer, and your hands, obviously. So basically what we're gonna do is that we're gonna paint our hands completely with glue and do that for a couple of times and then peel it off like a glove and that is how we're gonna make the hand. So first up make sure that you have clean hands and that you clip your nails exactly how you want the hand to look like. And then you start covering your hand with glue and make sure you get all the spots over your nails, between your fingers, just everywhere. And make sure to cover a fair amount of your wrist. Once you're done covering your hand completely with one layer of glue, you need to set aside your paintbrush in the glass of water so that it doesn't dry. Now you need to hold your hand in the position that you want it to turn out at the end and use your hair dryer to dry it. Now, this might take a while, you might want to use your hair dryer for a bit and then wait a bit and then repeat again until you feel like it's totally dry and it looks completely translucent. By the end of finishing the first layer, my hand looked like this. And before moving on to the next layer, it's very important to remember to dry your paintbrush as much as possible, as this glue dissolves in water and just the smallest amount of moisture is gonna make it melt away. And now you need to repeat doing that until you've reached 5 layers. Make sure to remember to keep your hands positioned in the way it's supposed to be, and it might be a good idea to tilt and hold your wrist backwards as I think it made it look better. By the end of finishing 5 layers, your hand should look something like this, and this whole process took me about 3-4 to four hours, so you're gonna need a lot of patience. But now it's time for the best part. For taking off the hand, you're gonna need some sort of powder. I'm gonna use baby powder, but I guess using flour would be fine as well. And I'm gonna cover all over my hand, and then slowly and gently start peeling it off from the bottom. You need to take your time with this to avoid tears as much as possible, and keep adding more powder as you go. We do this to avoid the hand from sticking to itself. As you can see, since we're turning the hand inside out, it's preserved all the details on the hand and it looks super realistic. Once that is done, you need to check for tears and cover them up with a little bit of hot glue. And now it's time to fill it up. You're gonna need some cotton and a rather long pointy stick. I just decided to use the nearest object around, which happened to be a crochet hook. I suggest starting with small bits of cotton to fill in the fingers, completely compressing the cotton and stuffing up the fingers. Keep using these tiny pieces until you've reached up to the knuckles. And from there you can use bigger pieces to fill up the rest. For this area, we don't want to fill it up with as much cotton as we can, and of course it doesn't need to be as compressed as the fingers were. Because in that case, the hand is gonna look chunky and puffy and weird. So start by putting a moderate amount of cotton inside, and start pressing and forming the hand the way a real hand should look like. You can press at the center of the palm and the sides of the hand and just basically form it so that it looks real. And now you can snip the rough edges of the wrist as short as you want to. And again, we're tilting the wrist backwards a bit. After that was done, my hand still felt kind of wet, so I let it stay like that overnight to dry completely. Now time to make that golden thing at the end of the hand. You're gonna need some cardboard, measuring tools, hot glue, and scissors. First, form the base of the wrist into a rectangle, and then measure the sides. First, we need to cut a rectangle in that size. Then take a long piece of cardboard and separate the two parts, and we're going to keep the non-bumpy side. 
For the length of this long piece, make sure that it's longer than the circumference of your rectangle and it can be as wide as you like it to look on the hand. These are the sizes that I ended up with. Now we need to bend and hot glue the long part onto the smaller one, making it into a little box. Once that is complete, you can test it on your hand and yep, it looks and fits great. And also we need to seal up the bottom of our hand with hot glue. Finally, it's time for painting. You're gonna need black, white and gold acrylic paint and also a paintbrush. First up, we're gonna paint all over the little box with gold. And then for the design on the back, I just freehanded it with a pencil and then you color it in with black paint. Now for the hand, we're gonna mix white and black together to get a very light gray and then obviously paint our hand with it. Now while that's happening, I'm gonna take a moment to explain why I decided to make the hand using this method. Well, first up, I knew that I couldn't mold and sculpt a hand myself because I have no talent in that whatsoever. And I thought that might be a problem for most people as well. So if you're like me and have no idea how to mold your own hand, I can say this is pretty much the easiest method. And alongside that, the result turns out super realistic because it's not only the exact same shape of your hand, but also it keeps all the details and I think that's pretty awesome. And needless to say, it's super affordable. Though it does have a pretty huge con which is it takes super long to make. So for each hand that you're gonna make, you're gonna have to keep your hand frozen in one position for at least three hours, which is a lot of time. Now, one very important thing to remember is that acrylic paint is water-based and also PVA glue dissolves in water. So when you're painting the hand, don't use a very thick layer and don't go over it too much. I was a bit careless in that matter and by the end that I was done, my hand felt kind of squishy and soft, which isn't really what we're looking for. And last but not least, it's time to put the two pieces together using hot glue. And there you have it, we're pretty much done here. And regarding how you're gonna attach this to your face or clothes, there's this really helpful video I found and the link to that will be in the description. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, blah blah blah. And tell me in the comments what you thought of this. Okay, bye!